All right, so I've made a decision that I'm going to get rid of the chickens for right now. So my neighbor Jeff is gonna take them and we are working on it and getting the chicken house moved. Think you're good. Just like that. We are moving the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> So over the last year, I moved the chickens down to the farm in August. And so over the last year, I've been driving down here two to three days a week, checking on them and taking care of the grounds and everything. And uh, it just uh, it just got to the point where I just was getting so tired of driving down here. And then um, this summer, we're gonna be gone. Um, gosh. Oh, about seven weeks out of the summer and then in the middle of August this summer I have to have shoulder surgery 
and be at rehab every day. And um, it's going to take three months for that to recover. And so I was just trying to lighten my load. So um, <clears throat> I was playing around with the idea of getting rid of the chickens. I called my neighbor to see if he knew anybody that would want them. And um, he said that they wanted them and that uh, he would buy my coop from me. And um, today I came out to the farm to mow. There's a plane going over. And uh, it's almost done mowing and I hear a loud noise. I have my headphones in, I hear this really loud noise. And uh, I started the generator, but it was like really loud. So I uh, looked up and uh, Jeff was here with this ginormous tractor. And so we used his tractor to, to lift everything out of here. And uh, now it's all gone. Um, so now you can see this is where the chickens once were. The cinder box is what their feed was sitting on. So now they're, they're completely gone. He used a chainsaw to cut the legs off of the coop. And uh, I'm gonna use the tractor to pull out the, uh, the legs and then just smooth this out and let the grass grow over it. And uh, the chickens are gone. I figure I got three years before my youngest graduates from high school. I'm sorry if this is shaky. I've been working hard and my muscles are tired. Um, so three years before she finishes high school and then we're wanting to go travel for a bit and uh, in our camper if we can do that. And so um, I don't see us uh, being able to take care of any animals out here for the last the next five years um, with what we're doing. Um, and we're so busy because uh, this is our second home and it's kind of a, just a retreat home and it's not. Um, something that we use every week and uh, we let friends and people like that use it but uh, we don't, we're not out here every day or even every week you know I think we've stayed out here a week in January when we had a bad snowstorm and then we came out with two other times with friends and spent the night and it's uh, June so that's probably eight days we've been out here since January and so it's a lot to uh, keep up and everything. So having the animals is just an added burden. Plus we have so many eggs that we can't possibly go through them all uh, before they go bad. So we have so many eggs and we've given eggs away like crazy. And um, like today I got 25 more eggs when I came out here. So it's a lot of eggs. But anyway, Jeff took them and uh, took the coop and everything. So now he's got to drill holes in the ground and try to get everything set up so that he can uh, have the chickens there but uh they were wanting some so it was good it, it worked out really well so anyway the chickens are gone and um that's that's it so so much we have no animals on our farm anymore so um in the garden i'm not even doing anything with the garden this year because i'm not going to be here um we're, we're going to africa and then we're going to japan and then um Last week, uh, it was England uh, for work for my wife. And then uh, the week before that, we were at church camp. And then the week before that, we were in the Northeast uh, visiting family. So it's just been a whirlwind of travel. And um, and we like traveling, so it's fun. So anyway, so that's it for now. So I'm going to sign off, and uh, I'll keep you updated on whatever happens next. Okay? See ya.